Hello and welcome to All Expo, right? Gareth Southgate has announced his preliminary England squad for this summer's European Championship as he looks to finally bring football home. Christ, we were so close at the World Cup three years ago. But what I'm going to do today is boot up Football Manager 2011, venture into the summer of 2021 and see who FM predicted would be in the England squad on the current day. Unsurprisingly, the squad's a little different than the one in reality, so we'll have a look at where the players in FM squad are in real life. So let's do it. My name's James, you're watching Alexpo, and this is England squad in 2021 according to FM 2011. Okay, so here we are, it's the 30th of May 2021 on Football Manager 2011, and as you can see, England are the third best team in the world. They haven't won anything though at this point, we'll have a little look at how they've been getting on in the competitions. Well, they haven't been doing anything to honest. No World Cup, they were runners-up the Olympics in 2012. And the European Championships, they've done nothing either. But as for the manager, surprisingly, FM have predicted it bang on. England are managed by Gareth Southgate. The 50-year-old is the Three Lions boss, and he's been there since 2018. He got the job in July after the 2018 World Cup. In this FM simulation, unsurprisingly, there wasn't a global pandemic that derailed Euro 2020. The Euros went off that summer and England were knocked out in the quarterfinals. We're now one year on for that tournament, so let's have a little look at the England squad. But before we do that, there's an interesting figure also with the England uh, hierarchy, should we say. We'll have a look at the staff. You'll notice Gareth Southgate is the manager. Rafa Benitez. Rafa Benitez managing the England under-21s. He's the Liverpool manager as well. Rafa Benitez has got two jobs on the go. England and Liverpool boss. How on earth have England managed to get Rafa Benitez as manager of the under-21s? At the minute we've got no one. It was Aidy Boothroyd before he got the sack or did he walk out? He might have got the sack though, pretty crap. But anyway, let's have a look at the England squad in 2021. The top players, Conor Wickham, Jack Rodwell, John Joe Shelby, Joe Hart, a regen called Adam Warner and Phil Jones. Not a single one of those players is even close to the England squad right now. Rodwell, Shelby and Hart and Jones, they did all play for England in Fenton and Wickham, Wickham didn't, but, but he's there. He is the top player. Currently playing for Chelsea. Let's have a look at the squad from top to bottom in goal where you've got Joe Hart. 87 caps for England. He's still the England number one. He's still the Man City number one in 2021. There's been no Pep Guardiola or exile. Whereas in reality, Joe Hart's just sat on the bench at Spurs, just counting his pennies, watching the game go by, hoping Hugo Lewis doesn't get injured in case he has to play. Right back, we've got Kyle Walker. He's probably the one and only player in this team who's where he should be. Kyle Walker, I'm not a massive fan of Kyle Walker, but he should be in the England squad this summer. And that's exactly where FM think he'll be. He's, he's not a Man City player, he's an Everton player. He's been there since 20, probably January 2018. He's never really had a big move. Everton's the biggest club he's played for. And he hasn't actually been very, he's been just okay to be honest with you. Kyle Walker still in England right back. Centre-backs, Danny Herbert and Adam Warner, both regens, there's not really a lot to say about them. I'll have a look at Danny Herbert. He's 22, playing for Arsenal. Very good at heading, very good at marking, that, that's quite good at least. Have a look at his, his partner at the back, Adam Warner. At first I thought it said Adam Webster, I thought it was the, uh, the Brighton lad. But no, it is Adam Warner, 28-year-old Spurs defender. Physically, very, very strong. So we've got an Arsenal and Spurs combination. At centre back. Left back's a shock. You'd think, you know, if you look at England now, we've got Ben Chilwell, Luke Shaw, Aaron Creswell, various others. On FM11, we've got Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson, you'll know, has just been relegated with Sheffield United. I mean, he's just been a, a bit part player for Sheffield United, really. I think he signed. When did he sign for them? Either way, he wasn't a regular starter when he first signed. I think he might have signed last January 2020. Either way, he's going to be playing the championship next season. Things are going a bit better for him on FM, though. He's at West Ham. He's just joined them for £10.5 million. Honestly, he's been bloody brilliant. Look at those averages. Christ, imagine if Jack Robertson was that good in reality. We're moving in the midfield. On the right, Brad Brook. That's a great name for a regen. 
it's just all right. It looks pretty solid everywhere, to be honest with you. He's good off the ball and he's very strong. Well done, Bradley. Brad Brook, Chelsea winger. In the middle of the park, we have got John Joe Shelby. He's a Chelsea. He's just joined them last summer for £16 million. He's been wonderful throughout the entirety of this simulation. A mainstay at Liverpool, now a mainstay at Chelsea for £16 million. In comparison to real life, John Joe Shelby's at Newcastle, where most of the fans don't even like him. But Steve Bruce absolutely loves him. I mean, three years ago, yeah, you could have been saying John Joe Shelby should have went to the World Cup. Obviously, he didn't. It didn't really matter in the end. Three years on in 2021, John Joe Shelby's name is never mentioned in the breadth of an England call-up. He's, he's played for England in the past, but nowadays, he's nowhere near. But on FM11, he's a key player. And he's in the middle alongside Jack Wilshere. I mean, Jack Wilshere should still... If his career had gone to plan, he would still be in England International. He should still be one of the main players. That's how hyped he was. On FM11, he's a Man City player. He's 29 years old. We'll have a little look at his career. He was quite a bargain signing, actually, for Man City. Only £5.75 million pounds from Arsenal. He was doing all right at Arsenal, but just wasn't playing a lot of football. Maybe the injuries have been uh, piling up for old Jack. Let's have a little look, actually. Mm, not, not massively. Not as bad as in reality. In reality, he's at Bournemouth, who just missed out on getting a place in the playoff final. They were beaten by Brentford, meaning Jack Wilshire. I'm not really sure how long his contract is at Dean Court. If he's still going to be there, he'll be a championship player. On the left wing, Kieran Gibbs. This team is absolutely naff, man. It's another failed Arsenal Academy graduate. Kieran Gibbs just been relegated with West Brom. He's off to Inter Miami. Don't know why he's going to America. Well, actually, no, I do know. I'd go to America if I was Kieran Gibbs because it's not really working out for him in England anymore. Relegated with West Brom for the second time in his career. But on FM11, he's at Aston Villa. He left Arsenal in 2014 to join Sunderland, where he was distinctly average. Then he went to Aston Villa, where he's been a little bit better, and is now an England left winger. Think of all the attacking options we've got right now. And on FM11, it's Kieran Gibbs on the left wing. Good to see they're still playing 4-4-2. That hasn't died out. But we'll go to the front two, and we will start with Connor Wickham, the man who was named England's top player, England's number nine, who's only got finishing 15 and heading 14. Composure 15, it's all right. Physically, he's an absolute specimen. At the age of 28, he's in his prime years. He's at Chelsea, where he has been for most of the simulation. And he's been a little bit crap, to be honest with you. Only once in the Premier League has Conor Wickham hit double figures. 11 is his best tally. That's not very good if he's going to be England's best player. In reality, I can't even tell you the last time I saw Conor Wickham actually play football. He's at, uh, he was at Crystal Palace. The last thing I can remember Conor Wickham doing was part of that great escape at Sun. I think under the, I think it was the Gus Poyet days when he scored at Man City. Since then, it's just been injuries. It, it's all gone wrong for Conor Wickham. Honestly, if you walk past this in the street, I don't even think I'd recognise him. But he is alongside Wayne Rooney. At the age of 35, Wayne Rooney is still at Man United. He is still an England international. He's been absolutely amazing in this simulation. Probably one of the best players in the world, getting higher than eight every season. This season, he hasn't played as much football, but he's still averaging a goal every other game. This has been the first season of the simulation where Wayne Rooney hasn't hit double figures. And at 35, he is still an England international. In comparison, Wayne Rooney's derby manager and genuinely He's so lucky not be managing a League One team. I watched that final game of the season between Derby and Sheffield Wednesday. And literally every time the camera panned away in Rooney, he didn't look like he had a clue what was going on. Ominous signs for Derby County. Let's rattle through the rest of the squad. Curtis Pack is a regen. Ryan Shawcross is in there. How many times has he played for England? 88 times. That is a ridiculous amount of caps. To be fair, never as he would have played that many times for England if Zlatan Ibrahimovic hadn't ruined his career. He's, I think he's in Miami nowadays. Last time I heard of him, he was getting talked about on the Peter Crouch podcast trying to do Sinead O'Connor. Not in a sexual way, in a, the song. Anyway, Sean Stevens, he's a regen. Junior Stanislas, 
a winger. He's playing for Aston Villa. In reality, he's all right for Bournemouth, isn't he? I don't know how much he's played this season. Is he still at Bournemouth? I think he is. Never played for England, but he has on this simulation. Then we have got Jordan Henderson, the second and final player in this team who is actually still in the England squad. He's at Chelsea in this simulation. Didn't make it at Liverpool. He went to Wolves, then Chelsea. He's just been all right, to be honest with you. Not, not as good as he is in reality. Next, Phil Jones. A man who could have been something special and his career has just gone down the pan. On FM11, he didn't even make it to Man United. Still at Blackburn. Still pulling weird faces, I'd imagine. But still in the England squad, which he isn't in reality. Next up, David Gradwell, a regen. Theo Walcott, I mean, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, he was... God, Theo Walcott's been around for ages. I was going to say 10 years ago he was getting into the England squad. It was 2006 when he first made it in the England squad. 10 years ago he'd been 22, just still very, very young. Theo Walcott, man, it just didn't go quite a plan for him, did it? Well, he's, he's staying in Southampton, so that's nice for him. Next up, Tom Cleverley. Tom Cleverley's been nowhere near an England shirt for a long time. He's still at Watford. On this simulation, he's a Chelsea player. Chelsea just got a, a C of... Average England midfielders and Jordan Henderson. Next up, Aaron Lennon still in the England squad at the age of 34. Dear me, how on earth is this the third best team in the world? Aaron Lennon's been pretty good actually for Sunderland, even though they did get relegated in the Premier League, hitting double figures for assists. £10.5 million at Sunderland for a man who in reality has been for Kaiserspor in Turkey. Ryan Bertrand still in the England squad. He's played 37 times for his country, playing for Villarreal. In reality, Ryan Burton doesn't get anywhere near the England squad nowadays and he's set to leave Southampton this summer. If we notice the bottom two players there, Gareth Smith and Michael Oliver regens. It's not the referee. Michael Oliver isn't a, a goalkeeper and a referee. It's, it's a regen. We've got Josh McEachran, who was tipped to be something special for England back when he was at Chelsea. He's at Aston Villa on this simulation. In reality, he's on a short-term contract at MK Dons. But actually on this simulation, for all he's in the England squad, he's never actually played a senior game for the Three Lions. He's just got in on the back of a wonderful season for Aston Villa. 11 goals and 11 assists in the Premier League. It's no wonder he's in the squad. In reality, Josh McEachern. He was meant to be the next big thing of England centre midfielders. Like, in yester levels of good the way he could pass the ball. I don't know if he had injury bother or what, but it just didn't go to plan at all. And the final player in this England squad is Dan Gosling, who's playing for Rangers on the simulation. He's been very good, actually. Christ, he's had a random little career. Newcastle, then to Sunderland, that's a strange move. Into the championship with Bristol City, Fiorentina in Italy. Now he's at Rangers, where he's just had best season of his career by the looks of things. And that has got him into the England squad, where he, just like a few other players, hasn't got a single cap for his country. Why on earth is Gareth Southgate calling up a 31-year-old Dan Gosling who hasn't even played for England? Dan Gosling just makes us think of that Merseyside derby that was on ITV or it was on ITV years ago and people who were watching HD missed it because it cut to an advert. That says a lot about Dan Gosling's career. That is a sad look in England squad. All you've got is Kyle Walker and Jordan Henderson. They are the only two players in this list who is still in the England squad, in reality, in 2021. Joe Hart's played for England, Kyle Walker obviously has, John Joe Shelby's played for England, Jack Wilsh has, Gibbs has, Rooney has, Shawcross has, Henderson has, Jones has, Walcott has, Cleverly has, Lennon has and Bertrand has. I've lost count there, 12 or 13. But some of these players, Jack Robinson's never going to play for England, he needs to find an Irish grandfather to be honest with you. And, and can someone just find Conor Wickham? I'm not bothered about him playing for England. I just want to know if he's all right. But that is England in 2021, according to FM 2011. Literally all they've got is Gareth Southgate, Jordan Henderson and Kyle Walker Wright. And that is a sad state of affairs. If England went to the Euros with this squad, we wouldn't even make it out of the groups. We'd come rock bottom. We'd even come below Scotland. I like Scotland, I don't know why I slagged them off. But on that note, we will end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to, to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around. That was a rough ending. See ya.